Given that, 2 sine x minus 60 is equal to cos x minus 30, show that tan x is equal to 3 root 3. All right, so we're going to have to expand out what we have over here to end up with this equation. So starting with the 2 sine x minus 60, expanding that out using the addition formulae becomes 2 sine x cos 60 minus 2 cos x sine 60. And that's just using this equation here. And we've just multiplied the expansion of sine x minus 60 by 2. With the right-hand side, cos x minus 30, that will become cos x cos 30 plus sine x sine 30. And that's using this rule. Now we can tidy up this equation. So the cos 60, sine 60, cos 30, sine 30, we can turn those into numbers. Cos 60 is equal to a half. So for the first term, 2 times cos 60, 2 times a half will just be 1. And then for the second term, 2 times sine 60, sine 60 is equal to root 3 over 2. This then becomes minus root 3 cos x. Cos 30 is equal to root 3 over 2 as well. And sine 30 is equal to a half. Now, just to simplify things, I'll multiply everything by 2 so we can get rid of some of these fractions. We then end up with 2 sine x minus 2 root 3 cos x. The halves on this side cancel out. And then we can rearrange. So take away sine x from both sides. This goes away. This turns into sine x if we take away sine x. And then add this to both sides. Add 2 root 3 cos x to both sides we end up with 3 root 3 cos x. Divide both sides by cos x, and we get what we're looking for. Tan x is equal to 3 root 3. OK, and then for part b, hence or otherwise, solve this equation in this interval, give our answers to 1 dp. So the two equations that we have, this one and this one, they're quite similar. We have 2 sine, 2 sine cos, cos. But the interiors are different. We have x minus 60, 2 theta, x minus 30, 2 theta plus 30. It says hence in our question, so that suggests we're going to be using the previous part of the question, or at least we can use the previous part of the question. That suggests to me that some kind of substitution has been used to go from here, this equation, to that one. So what we can do is we can set x minus 60, to work out what the substitution would be, let's set x minus 60, what we have over here, equal to 2 theta. And similarly, let's set x minus 30 to 2 theta plus 30. I'm going to rearrange both of these things for x. So this one becomes x is 2 theta plus 60, and the blue one also becomes x is 2 theta plus 60. What that means is, to go from here to here, we have made a substitution. We have let x equal to 2 theta plus 60. OK, so these two equations are basically the same thing, just with a substitution of x of 2 theta plus 60. Now, just remember that this equation here can be rewritten as what we have over here. So that would mean that this equation can be rewritten in the same form but with x being 2 theta plus 60. So just to reiterate, this equation is basically the same as this, but with x being 2 theta plus 60. So that's what we're going to be solving. So the previous equation, tan x is equal to 3 root 3, we're solving that, but x is equal to 2 theta plus 60. Now let's look at the domain as well. We have thetas between 0 and 180. Let's write that down over here. So convert our domain to what we have over here. So times everything by 2, add 60. We end up with 60 is less than or equal to 2 theta plus 60. 180 times 2 plus 60 would be 420. So we're solving this equation in this domain. 
Inverse tan of 3 root 3 gives us 79.11. So that's our principal value, our first angle, 79.11. Now tan graphs repeat themselves every 180 degrees. So we can just add 180 to this. That gives us 259.11. And these would be our only two angles in the domain of 60 to 420. If I were to add or subtract 180 from either of these values, it would be outside of this domain. So we stop there. We now take away 60. We divide by 2 to get theta. That's just rearranging for theta. Our first value would therefore be 9.5, well, 9.6 to 1 decimal place. We want it to 1 dp. And the second angle, take away 60 divided by 2, we end up with 99.6. And those would be our two answers.